Hello, my name is Brandon Mora, and I am from the Spotify Viz team, which includes myself, Samuel Marrero, and Cameron Newborn. The problem we sought to solve was make going through music recommendations a more informative, interactive, and entertaining experience. In this video, I will demonstrate the finished product and then do a brief overview. Okay, so let's type in an example song. I will use American Idiot by Green Day. And we can see here a live interactive graph pop up, which uses physics to uh, adjust its like node lengths and edges. Uh, and we, here we can see that you can even move them around. And the images on each node is the album art for the corresponding song. So let's do a depth for search on this graph where the root node is the searched for song, in this case, American Idiot. We can animate this and see the search take out take place live on the graph itself. We can do a similar search for breadth for search. Both of these lists are ordered according to their respective searches. We also see that for each of these songs, we have access to the attribute information for each of them. Some of these attributes are the artist, the danceability, duration, energy, and so on. We can also look at the graph sorted specifically by attribute, where the colors of the nodes are the relative distance from the root node for that attribute. So in this case, the, the more blue the node, the closer they are in loudness to the original song, which is in this case, American Idiot. And this applies for each of them. We see an interesting effect here where if we choose a binary option, like explicit, nodes are either white or blue, as we should expect. We've also implemented some features that make it easier to navigate the application. For example, you can check any of the recommended songs and then re-look it up within our application and you see the corresponding graph is generated. We also have the ability to click on any one node and launch into a Google search for that song. And finally, we have that you can click on any node and then this application will open that song in Spotify. As you can see here, we were taken to that song, Little Red Corvette, that I just clicked on. So this is the overall structure of our application. We start with using Python to upload the song CSV data into our database, Firestore. And then we would retrieve that song data anytime this cloud function is called from our web application. So the web application asks for song data, the cloud function gets the song data and then packages it into a graph via an edge list, and then it returns it to the front end. The interactions with Spotify are for both authentication and to get the album.